Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel where you will find all kinds of DIY content. For today's video, I'm going to be flipping a free Facebook market furniture find and it is a china cabinet that was in really good condition with the exception of a really small crack on one of the glass doors. Before we actually get started on today's video, I just want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you who have helped grow this channel to 2,000 subscribers. It is a huge milestone for me. So as a way of me saying thank you to you, I am going to be doing a giveaway. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video for more details on how to enter. But for now, let's go ahead and get started. that you guys would appreciate seeing the fact that these glass panels completely come off. looks like some of the original finish is kind of like come off or wanting to come off it was like that when i got it but it's very sticky so i can't sand it obviously because it's just clogging my sander and i mean i'm not sure if you can hear that i'm going to take just some mineral spirits and try to scrub this a little bit with some steel wool and see if all of this comes off So thankfully that wasn't hard at all. It's not sticky anymore. Um, it's nice and smooth, so I don't have to worry about that anymore. I'm so glad that I went in with that mineral spirits and really took that off. So now I'm just gonna wipe down all of this, get rid of all of my dust, and then we're ready for paint. so it is the next day it is completely different than it was yesterday it's not windy anymore not nearly as windy as it was and it's a lot more sunnier it's not super wet and humid and gross outside so perfect weather to go ahead and start painting i am prepped i am ready to start spraying you saw my little makeshift of my painting booth and that's what we're gonna work with because that's what we've got so let's go ahead and start painting so the color that i'm using is tricorn black by sharon williams 
and I've used this before. If you've seen any of my other videos, you saw me use it on a nightstand that I redid for my sister-in-law. Well, I had quite a bit left over of it, three quarters of a can, so I figured I'd try to get rid of it. So I am going to be thinning it out and I'm expecting to use most, if not all of it. So I'm just gonna thin it out in the can itself. I wouldn't recommend doing this. if You're not gonna be using the entire can. And this paint that I'm using here today does not require primer, it does not require sanding, and it does not require a top coat. So the whole point of me using this color was to basically try to empty out all of the open cans that I have in my garage right now and kind of make a little bit more room for new paints that I have coming. But I ran out of paint. I didn't have enough paint to finish the second coat on the door. So now I'm gonna have to go get more paint. So here we go. All right, so we are back with another can of paint. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my next coat. So if you are wondering why I was leaving this space here like halfway painted and looking really crazy it's because we're going to be covering it with uh, contact paper so this contact paper I got from Amazon and I'm just going to take it and cover the entire bottom including the shelf I think it'll make it look a little bit nicer and a little bit more modern so we're just going to go ahead and do that The easiest way I find to apply contact paper is to measure and cut out the piece necessary for the space. Once cut, then I fold back about 2 inches of the backing to start and spray the beginning end so that you can get good contact. I don't actually spray the entire surface with the adhesive, only the beginning. Once it is in place, I smooth it all out with my Bondo spreader while rolling out the backing slowly bit by bit. I repeated this entire process to the top of the hutch to make sure and get a more cohesive look.
For the drawer hardware, I found some old ones in my stash that I thought went really well with the knobs. I really loved the patina they had, but because the hinges were so gold, I decided to add some rub and buff to them to make them blend a little bit better. And I did the same thing to the knobs as well. The last thing to really complete the look of this makeover was to add a decorative vintage light bulb to the top hutch. Now let's take a look back at what the cabinet used to look like, and what it looks like now. I hope you guys enjoyed today's furniture flip. After spending about $60 on materials, I will be turning around and selling it back on Facebook Marketplace. Now, I don't have a set price for it just yet. If you are interested in an update on the sale, be sure to be following me on Instagram as I will update you guys on there. I can also start posting on the community tab how much I sell each piece for. If you guys are interested, let me know in the comments below. I'd be more than happy to post on there. Now for the giveaway. So I will be giving away a $25 gift card to one winner to help contribute to their next DIY project. If the winner happens to be local, then I will also be giving away my latest furniture makeover, which was the apothecary cabinet. The winner will be picked at random, and in order to enter, you must be subscribed to my channel, follow me on Instagram, and leave me a comment down below letting me know what you what project you would use the money for, as well as a way to contact you, whether that is an email address or an Instagram name. The details will be down in the description below for you guys, so good luck to everybody. You guys stay safe, be kind, and I'll see y'all next week. Bye!